Can we please find them dang fingerprints that we were supposed to find? <laughs> Hello there everyone and welcome to a brand new episode of Horror Games Don't Scare Me. A series where I play horror games that do scare me. And in this one I'm going to be checking out a game called File Destined. Which was kindly given to me by my good friend Sean of the Dread. Who as you might know is a fellow YouTuber who makes some stellar content. And if you want to check out some of that stellar content there's a link in the video description down below. So head on down there, go over to his channel and give him some love. And with that said... Let's jump straight into this game and see what it's all about. Hi, I'm Liz. Hi. Welcome to the crime scene simulation, Oliver. I will be helping you throughout the simulation. The place you are about to enter is, simply put, a virtual reality. You won't get hurt in any ways and even when you make a mistake, we can start all over again. Well, that's good news. <laughs> are you sure I won't get hurt, Liz? The place you are about to enter is, simply put, a virtual reality. You won't get hurt in any ways and even when you make a mistake, we can start all over again. Jeez, I was just kidding, Liz. Relax. Thanks to our advanced technology, we are able to solve unsolved murders by simulating the crime scene. Uh, hey Liz? Yes, Oliver? Let's just determine a safe word for us just in case, okay? Look, um, I don't know, teddy bear? Okay, Oliver. Teddy bear it is. Thank you. I'm now simulating the file assigned to you to solve your mystery of the murder. The file D. Ooh, my favorite file. You may have to look closely to see some details. Congratulations, you now know how to see details. <laughs> Congratulations, you zoomed in. There may be some evidences behind closed doors, in drawers or cabinets. You have to make sure you check everywhere for the evidence. Also, I have left a present in the drawer for you. Okay, let's see what present we like got. You opened the drawer. There should be a lighter there for you to examine. Yay, we got a lighter. This looks like an object of evidence. You should carefully examine the objects of evidence. Okay, I, 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 I guess I did it. I'm adding this item to your inventory now for you to use. That's great. This is my lighter. Feels good to have something of my own here. We are ready to be begin now. No. Hey, Liz. Are you there? Shit, shit. I was just kidding, Oliver. <laughs> you got me this time. Uh, let's get this over with. Real fucking funny, Liz. Also, the subtitles were a bit incorrect. There was a lot more text in the subtitles than what the characters were saying. So that was a bit odd. I wonder if this is evidence. It does say evidence on it, so fancy looking glasses. I can imagine one of the doctors wearing this. I, I, I guess. I don't know. I've seen doctors wear all kinds of glasses, not specifically Harry Potter glasses. But whatever you say, my brother from another mother, or at least I'll assume as much. I do have quite a few siblings. Would it surprise me if you're one of them. We got a pen. Insignificant. In my opinion, a pen is very useful. You can write down things like your thoughts in a diary. Dear diary, today I went through an abandoned hospital and found an insignificant pen of which I'm writing with right now. And also my lighter just ran out of fuel. Maybe there's some fuel inside of this syringe. Is that fuel? No, that's band-aid. Or sorry, bandage, not band-aid. Those are two completely different things, Kevin. You should know. You've uh, had both of them on your body at one point. We got some uh, classic doctor's writing. Hey, we got some fuel. There we go. What is that? We got some cigarettes. I guess this hospital has everything that is not beneficial to human health. I mean, lighter fuel. That's pretty beneficial, isn't it? A statue. I do not know who this is. Maybe hypocrites. I mean, yeah, it does look like a hypocrite to me. Ooh, we found some keys. It said room 34. Mm, there must be something that I'm missing. Yeah, for this, it kind of just looks like one of them food containers that you bring with you to work and store like 50 sandwiches in it or something. I'm a very hungry man and I also have a bubble in my <coughs> throat right now. The fuck? Why am I yep. hearing a baby? Wow. I want to get in there and help the baby out. Oh, it's apparently over here. Uh, is it Whoa, Jesus. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, shit, what? Our lighter just buggered. Uh, did the baby die? And this is the murder weapon or something? Insignificant? Are you sure? It's a baseball bat inside of an hospital. Oh, we got evidence. A bullet. There should also be a gun somewhere around here. 57 Magnum bullet. It's in multiple firearms. The gun that was used may not be far from here. Maybe it's the baseball bat. And also the door closed. Okay, that's cool. So I guess we're looking for a gun. Is this a gun? No, it's an x-ray. Not that I actually thought it was a gun. I'm just trying to be... Teddy bear? Damn. Uh, yeah, we were just gonna ignore that for the moment. And if I had the choice... Forever... Okay, let's 
just continue trying to find that gun, yeah? Can we walk out now? Okay, are, we are can. Are we supposed to have other people in this simulation? My guess would be no. Lock what is pick. this? Lockpick? I'm trying to open one of the chests with this. Oh, oh the one that we saw earlier. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Can we even walk out of here now? No, we're just stuck in here. Okay, cool. I see you. You do? Fuck. 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 Okay, let's just go to that box. It looks like whenever one of them dots down there fills up, we press space and it's unlocked. Okily dokily, what did we find? Patient's report. Neat. As a result of the examinations, the patient was diagnosed with chronic schizophrenia. Okay, add to inventory, I guess. Oh, that's gonna help us! Fuck, Jesus fuck! fuck. Oh, toilet! Maybe what is this? Know what kind of experimental medication they gave to the people here. Yeah, it's just uh, good old maple syrup. Oh, we got one of them teddy bears again. Seems to be a popular brand of teddy bears. Hey, excuse me! Who are you and what do you want? Uh, you gotta be kidding me. I must be losing my mind here. Yeah, you're 100% losing your mind, which means I'm probably losing my mind as well. <laughs> yep, that settles it. I'm currently losing my mind. Are you ready to play? I mean, I'm already playing, man. <sighs> Whoa! <laughs> What the heck? What the heck what? Oh, you mean the fact that we're now in a different location. Yeah. Also, I'm pretty sure the subtitle said, what the heck? How <laughs> you get it? Because we're in VR. Ma'am, are you okay? Yeah, are you okay? And <sighs> why did you just clip through the uh, wheelchair? I guess you're not actually a human being. Oh, smell. They're a ghost, and uh, what is going on? We need a three-digit combination. Is it on this stationary holder that has 30 tablets of Clopi du Grel? Whatever that's for. Maybe it's for a massive loss of blood. Not that I know how a little pilly could help us with that. Okay, we got 461, do we? Uh, why did you just turn off the lighter, you little dingus? Phil? Sex? One. There we go. We did... Gun? Oh, is it the gun that we needed to find? This gun may belong to anyone. I will Magnum. keep this with me just in case. Say, hey, excuse me, I'm Good trying to talk. Hey, explains the 357 bullet I found earlier. I have one of these babies as well. Why would you call a bullet a baby? And also stop inter interrupting me. Uh. Okay, very neat. Well, oh, Jesus! <laughs> Fucking Christ! Oh my god. I was just about to say that this game is so far coloring me confused. What the fuck is going on in this fucking simulation? My thoughts exactly. Hey, we got a key to the director's office and some more fuel. Just what I wanted. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? I gotta say, I love the lighting in this game. It's very noise and some more fuel. Speaking of lighting, director's office. Okay, I'm pretty sure the toilet used to be here. Maybe they redecorated a toilet room and made it into a director's office. Just to send him a message. That is nothing more than a piece of shit. Look, insignificant. There are lots of books in this place. Oh, another key. Punishment cell. Ah, oh, that sounds like a fun place. And we got another teddy bear here. I guess the teddy bear is saw running this place. I mean, he's sitting in the director's office chair after all. Shit, this scene is so contaminated. There's police shit everywhere. Well, excuse me, we were just trying to solve a murder. Uh, I need to find the password. 
So it says that this paper is insignificant, but I kind of have a feeling it has something to do with the combination. Like we're just going by the position where the letters are in the alphabet. So B being the second letter of the alphabet. So that would be the number two and E being the fifth and G being the seventh. So maybe it's two, five, seven. There we go, dude. No, it's, it's not. Okay. I thought I was being clever there for a second, but I guess I'm not clever. Okay, the door's locked. So we really have to find a number in here. Oh, wait, hold on. Is it related to this? Yeah, I see now. It spells out B-E-G. So the word beg that we saw over there. But in this case, it's 372. And boom, we got it. Big brain Kevin. Oh, we can actually pull it out. We got a fingerprint here. Fingerprint on the knife. I can try to match you using the hospital records. I'll find out who you are soon enough. What, so you're just gonna look at the fingerprint with your eyes physically and then compare it to a buttload of other fingerprints in the medical records? I mean, if you can pull that off, I'm very impressed. Oh, it's in here with the creepy ass imagery over there. Can we turn that off, please? This place gives me the chills. Yeah, it does. Especially thanks to that. Oh, we got another patient the report. The result of the papillolectomia was determined as a large cell neuron decrine tumor. Okay, I did not understand a single word of that. It was Foster. Uh, it doesn't match with this one. Uh, okay, never mind then. So I guess we have to find another pair of- Hey, hey, wait. Where'd the door go? I need to be careful about the gas left in it. <laughs> You don't have to tell me every time I'm running out of fuel, man. It makes for some awkward dialogue. But yes, agreed. Where did the door go? Or at least that door. This door is still here and that one as well. What did we expect when it Jeez. comes to... Uh, yeah, I would have more to say about that. I mean, Jesus would be one of the words. I don't like the look of that at all, man. Alright, thanks. Uh oh, oh, and uh, uh, I... What? What is going on? This place. <laughs> I don't like this at all. Okay, cool. That's a door. Why do we have a picture of a door? Do we have to go through the door here? No, that would be pretty cool. Look up. What the heck? Yeah, uh, yeah. What the heck indeed. What? Your reactions to everything that's happening is way too, what do you say, insignificant. I would say more than just what to this situate um. oh god okay okay come on pull yourself together pull yourself together shit shit uh, yeah we should probably do more than just pull ourselves together and pull this place together too because it's falling apart are we gonna get jump scared by something perhaps that would be my guess I guess I'm wrong. Oh, are we interacting with this teddy bear? An old damaged teddy bear, partially dismembered. This place is like a living hell. Ah, what makes you think that? This place seems completely normal to me. All right, we gotta get jump scared yeah. this time, maybe? Yeah, we need to. Okay, there we go. I refueled the lighter. Are you happy now? I keep getting tutorial for it as well on the left corner. It's taking me out of the uh, immersion just a tad bit, but it's all fine and dandy. We're just walking up to a giant teddy bear that just suddenly disappeared isn't that and uh, 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 oh hey look at that we're back here can we please find them dang fingerprints that we were supposed to find uh, yeah guess we're going in here yep yeah uh, that was probably that a very bad there idea a door right here there was a door right here indeed and now there's another door here <laughs> or at least a door frame Okay, that made me twitch just a tad bit, and I'm a little bit embarrassed. Don't be late for your appointment, darling. Hey, don't call me darling. I ain't your darling. Okay, yeah, this makes total sense. I'm not confused in the damn slightest. I've never been less confused in my entire- What the f- Fuck? Yo, now that is a mind fuck right there. Oh, that's really darn well done. That son of a bitch is coming closer. Shit, the light's going low. Yeah, yeah, shut the fuck up. Wait, open, close the lid. Oh, that's how you close the lid. Maybe I should have actually read the tutorial on the left side. I'm just freaking stupid as usual. Oh. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. 
that's... Uh, excuse me? Lady, are you having problems? God damn it. <laughs> Teddy bear, god damn it, indeed. Liz, please, take me out of the simulation. I ain't doing too well in here. Oh. <gasps> Uh, okay. Again, I'm not doing too well in here. <laughs> Shit's freaking me out. I got this strange feeling like I've been here before. I, I have more than a strange feeling about this entire situation. Whoa, okay. I'm loving this game so far. This is a 10 out of 10 if you want to have a good old horror experience. Oh... Okay, please do not hug me. I'm not in the mood for a hug at this point in time. Oh. <laughs> That's creepy. That's also creepy. But I'm walking towards it because I'm an idiot. <laughs> I have a feeling that's not it. I'm gonna walk more and it's gonna jump scare me. No? Okay, I'm glad I was wrong about that. How much fuel do we get now? Five! Well, let's refill it. Screw it. We got plenty, man. There we go, we got even more. Hey, fingerprints! Oh, it does not match, of course. So. For fuck's sake. I just want to find some fingerprints that match with the fingerprint I found on this knife I found away earlier in a different location. A location I don't even think we're close to being near to anymore. This journey has gone off rails. That thing is for sure. Okay, a little baby. That calms me down. Yep. Just a tad beat. A baby x-ray? Yeah, poor kid. Poor kid indeed. Oh man, now I feel bad again. Nah, locked. Uh, that baby ain't normal over there. That baby be- Oh, God. Can I please turn my lighter on? Okay, thank you. Okay, are we following it? Did I just turn into coma cola? <laughs> That's a little bit on the nose, isn't it? Uh, okay, calm down. It's fine. It's not scary at all. Nope. I'm cool. Calm and collected. All three of those things. I am for sure. Why does the lighter just keep turning itself off, man? I don't like that at all. And I do not like that either. Jesus Christ, are we walking towards it? Uh, kinda wish I didn't! Light him on fire! Let's make it a disco inferno, as Tom Jones would say. <laughs> oh. They don't seem very happy with me. So where are we going now? Over here? I'll take that as a yes. Uh, 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 that's a ghost. What is this? Uh, it's called an x-ray. Oh wait, there's something here. A box with stuff in it. Uh, I don't know what we're looking at. Strange. I wonder if those medications actually work. What, what? A badge? Yeah, that's not really medication now, is it? Hey, we got a key for the nurse. <laughs> Which I'm gonna assume is one of these doors. Is it this door? Yes. There's no telling what I'm staring at right now. Might be a cure for cancer or some sort of virus that brings people back from the dead. That's quite a stretch between the two. Okay. Hopefully this it matches with this one. But there's no name in the records. Has it been erased? Okay, so this does match, but it doesn't give us a name. Just our freaking luck, isn't it? That's a naked old man doing naked old man things over there. This here is treatment for alcohol addiction. Yeah, it's working. Uh, uh, oh, jeez, what the fuck happened there? This place is falling apart. Literally. Oh, it was a mannequin. I just got an achievement that said, welcome home. I do not feel welcomed. And also, this ain't my home. I know how my home looks like, and this ain't it, Chief. Oliver Hamilton. Wait a second. Is this my name? What is this crap? Is this a joke, Liz? Do you think this is funny? I swear, if this is one big joke, you better tell me right now. 
Yeah, I mean, it is kind of funny, isn't it? Another patient report, which is ours? No, no, this can't be real. It's just a stupid simulation. I haven't done anything. Uh... Okay, this game is taking us through one heck of a twist and turn, isn't it? Oh, jeez, that's a lot of paintings. Exactly what I needed. It's been a while. Um, wine? Uh, this is not the time to drink <laughs> alcohol, man. We should just try to get out of this place. I mean, we even got a dedicated button to drink alcohol, so I guess we're gonna drink alcohol. I don't know if that's gonna help us through the situation at all, but this is what we want to- Oh, we're holding a gun now. Why are we holding a gun now? Uh, up, damn baby. Uh, no, it's fine. You don't have to do anything stupid now. For the love of God, please do not tell me we're about to kill a baby because I do not want to fucking do that. No, this can't be real. It's just a stupid simulation. Yeah, let's just say it's a stupid simulation. Also, I can't see shit. It's absolute freaking dark. Okay, never mind. Now I can see shit. No, do not ready your gun. No. We're not gonna shoot anyone, okay? Let's just get out of here, okay? Yeah, I'll help you, Dad. Oh, I mean, Lucy, sorry. My brain is a little bit mush right now. We are on our way. I'm not afraid of you. You can't hurt me. Um, are we not gonna question the fact that we're inside of a circus tent? Hey, my dude, can you maybe explain why we're in a circus tent? Why did you kill me, Dad? What? I haven't done anything. No, I haven't killed... <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, I'm not afraid of you. Well, I, I did not shoot. I did not do that. The game shot. Dude! What the fuck? Why did you do that? Again, I did not do that. I didn't press the left mouse button. In fact, I didn't have my hand on the fucking mouse to begin with. I just let this whole thing play out and... And... Uh, what's going on? us that that is us are we just forced to be in vr for all eternity reliving evening, folks. stuff we have a breaking news country's one of the most closely watched criminal cases in 2022 against ex-police officer oliver hamilton today on june 24th the jury has reached a verdict on the case after ex-cop Oliver Hamilton was dismissed from the police department for his alcohol addiction, and after his wife committed suicide by jumping in front of a subway train, Hamilton began using illegal experimental drugs and substances. Officer Hamilton, who came to the point of losing his sanity due to the substance abuse and major depression, is known to have killed his own daughter. What is causing more turmoil amongst the society has become the involvement of the company destined to the case. Destined is a company known for the new generation punishment methods they are working on, for murder convicts. Believing that prison sentences are insufficient, it serves a new punishment system. The company advocates to make convicts relive the guilt of their actions countless times, and break their wills against committing any sort of crime. Holy fucking Meanwhile, shit. conservative groups state this practice is unacceptable, and that it would be trying to play God on mankind and says it is not a way to establish justice and peace in society. Groups already started protest against the Destined company. Uh, oh, it's just the credits now? Okay, I guess we're gonna go back to the main menu. Okay, so that was File Destined. That was one hell of a trip. That threw me through so many twists and turns. It legit messed with my head. <laughs> and then that ending, man. Jesus Christ. This game is messed up, dude. Holy shit. Okay, so yeah. I don't know what else to say about this game. Uh, the, the visuals are nice. The voice acting is pretty good. Except for the 
news reporter at the end. I'm pretty sure that's just an AI voice. The music is nice. The sound effects are nice. And the scares, man, the scares. They got me real good. And uh, yeah, I guess that is all I have to say about it. If you want to get it for yourself, there's a link down below. And also, again, a link to my buddy Sean channel, who is the one who got me this game. And if you enjoyed this video, which I really hope you did, it would be highly appreciated if you would hit that like button and that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. And until next time, have a good one. Bye-bye.